The hub with a cool secret built into it? <laughs> Let me explain. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go over another piece of hardware. If you haven't checked out my last video, check it out. I went over this tiny little hard drive here. You can see it, pretty cool. Looks like a Lego block. Anyways, check that out last video. But on this video, what I'm gonna do is I found, I do a lot of hub reviews and stuff like this. This again is not so much as a review because I just got it, but I just wanna show you what's available. This thing's pretty cool for the price. This is a, I guess it's Hagibis, H-A-G-I-B-I-S, and it's actually listed as the MC30, so I bought the cheaper model. This is only $33.99, and let me explain why that's a great price for this, because what this is basically is it's a hub, kind of fairly big, right? But on the back of it, you can slide the back off and put an SSD, a three and a half inch SSD in here, which I've done, and I'll show you some speed tests coming up to see if it's actually better than what they're saying or worse or whatever, so stay tuned for the speed tests. So this thing's pretty cool. I mean, it's metal on the front, plastic on the back. I'll kind of get into that. All right, so for the ports, it's pretty limited, I guess you could say, but it's got some extra ports, including that SSD drive too, but it's got two USB-A 2.0, so for like a mouse or a keyboard, slow speeds, 480 megabytes per second, two USB-A uh, up to five gigabits per second, and then it's got a USB-C connection. I think it's five gigabits per second, but that's just where you connect the hub into your Mac. And then basically it's got two card readers. It's got the normal size and the, and the, you know, the micro or the smaller size for the card reader. You can see it there. So the secret to this is it's pretty cool. And I'll get into the specs in a second. But you theoretically, you just this is the hard part. There's a little plastic piece in the back and you slide it off like this. And I'll have close-ups of this whole thing as we're talking just so you guys can see the hub and what it's all about and how it looks. But inside of it, you can see there's a little area that you slide in your SSD drive and uh, it has to be like a three and a half inch. I use this Inland Professional, this one over here, I always recommend this one. Um, very cheap and they seem to work great. And I'm gonna do a speed test against just that with the direct connection into the Mac versus having something you know, on this, just to see what the difference is, so stay tuned. Long story short though, you put the hard drive in there, I did, it recognized it right away, um, no problems whatsoever, and I got fairly good speeds, I'll show you those. I mean, it wasn't, you know, this, it, it was actually better than directly connecting it in for some reason, and maybe because of obviously I'm connecting in, that thing's USB-A, but I think it's five gigabits per second, this is a USB-C, but it should be five gigabits per second, not the 10, so I'm not sure what the difference was. Um, anyways, you can see it, so it's all metal construction, and, uh, the model number again is the MC30. Now this is the confusing part. So, well, I guess it's not that confusing. There's two different models. This is only 33 bucks and you get the hard drive and the hub, which is crazy cheap. I can't really find an, a model out there that's comparable. Um, but if you look at the Amazon page, which I'm looking at right now, I'll share my screen. There's, they sell an MC30 Pro, which is about, what, 12 bucks more. So if I scroll down to the bottom down here, and sorry for all this, but I'm just gonna scroll down. Actually, I missed it. Let me see, right here. So here's the difference as you can see. It looks like the MC Pro model comes with the 4K 30 hertz and it also has a 100 watt power delivery. This has only got one port for USB-C, the one I have, the cheaper one. So when I plug the USB into this, it's basically not you know, powering my Mac. It's, it's basically just connecting the hub into the Mac. So you, can get, you, know, you get the idea. The other one has that extra port where it can provide 100 watt power for 45 bucks. That's even a better deal plus the 4K at 30 hertz, I'm guessing it has an HDMI port on it. But this thing, you know, for what you get, you get for 33 bucks, you can't, I can't find another one that has an SSD drive built into it. And let me know if you guys can. Um, you know, it says right here, again, this is the other model. I don't know why they're showing specs on that. These first two don't relate to this. But the cool thing with it, and now it does come with a cord. Now this is, you know, when I open this up in the box, I'll show you the box here. Obviously you can see it. Um, this is what it had and, it, and I opened it up and it had these like pads here these 3m pads and these things like allow you to Position the hard drive into here so it doesn't rattle around and stuff. That's pretty straightforward came with the instruction manual I'll post that here. You can pause it if you want to see what that's all about It's nothing much, but go ahead and pause it if you need to right there and then finally I couldn't find a cord. I'm like, do I have to get my own cord for this? But it was inside of this thing. So you have to slide this door open and then they had a cord. And this cord's kind of cool because it's USB-C to USB-C with this little dongle that hangs off and then you can connect it to be USB-A as well in case you don't have a USB-C on your computer. So that cable's really nice for 34 bucks. You get that as well. So that's the system. So what I did basically then at the end of the day is we went over here and we did a couple tests. 
The first test I did, I'll show you really quickly. This is kind of, I'll share my screen here. But the first test I did is I did a test directly. Let me see if I can get off this so you don't see this the whole time. All right, there we go. So the first test is a speed test on the drive directly connected. I use this inland drive. And I'm showing you right now, I connected the inland drive to this and you can see it on my computer. But this was just with this direct cable, not through this hub. And for some reason, um, let me see here, what did I get here? It was 270, I think I got up to 272.6. Again, I'm using this USB-A cable though. And then it was 272.6 and 298.3. So that's what I got on that test, all right? So that was if I directly connected this hard drive into my Mac. You know, I had to use a hub because I don't obviously have a USB-A on here. There's some, some differences there as well. But then I just wanted to see how bad this thing or how good this thing was. So I connected the uh, Hagibus, this, the one I'm reviewing here, directly with USB-C to USB-C. I directly connected it into my Mac with no hub or anything like that. And again, I'm showing you on the screen now. I'm clicking the inland. This is connected with the Hagibus hub uh, with my hard drive inside of here. And I went ahead and did the speed test. Let's get through this really quickly. I'm just showing you that I'm picking the inland drive. That's the drive, that's what I named it, so it's not gonna be called Hagibus because it's the name of the drive. Um, so anyways, I go ahead and I did it. Now I got three, what is it, 326 on the uh, rights. And uh, let me see, got, I mean, that's how high I got it. Obviously went down a little bit. And then I think I got a, about 300.7, if it gets up there, I pre-recorded this part um, right there. So you can see it. So long story short, it was actually faster going through this thing than a directly connected in. Of course, I had a hub in between. So, you know, you guys can make your own thing up. But I mean, this drive in general is not that fast when you're connecting it that way. So it doesn't really lose anything with this is what I'm saying. There's been in some of the reviews, they, people are saying it's slow or something. I haven't found that. I mean, it seems like it's about what it should be for. I mean, obviously this drive says it's rated 52410. But again, you can see when I connect it through this other method, it doesn't get that. So in the 300s is not bad, uh, especially through a hub like this for 33 bucks. Um, again, metal construction. And, uh, but you can see the design of it, it's pretty nice. And uh, it's a little bit bigger, but obviously it's a hard drive enclosure as well. So, you know, do your, do your due diligence on it. I'll have a link to this in the description. I just wanted to kind of show people these types, you know, a lot of the other tech people don't do stuff like this. I don't know why. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that makes me intrigued because it's different. I mean, not everyone's talking about this. This is actually a cool hub. I mean, you can stick in any hard drive you want. It takes two seconds. You can, you know, have a whole bunch of hard drive SSDs over here and just pop them in as you want and take them with you to the coffee shop or something. It gives you the ports of the SD cards. It gives you the USB-A, um, which are, you know, five gigabits per second and a couple other ones that are just the, the slower ones. So you get a lot for it. And then if you want to spend the extra money, you get the extra stuff like the power delivery and then you get the 4K 30 hertz. So can't go wrong. Um, you know, it seems to work with, I have an M1 MacBook Air here and, uh, you know, I, I gotta, you know, initially recommend it, but again, everyone do their own due diligence. If, you're, if your computer blows up, it's not my fault. I just had it for a couple weeks again. I don't do these long tests because I just don't have time and, and I just wanna show people, hey, this is available, check it out. Amazon's got a good return policy if it doesn't work for you. And that's all there is to it, right? So anyways, I hope you guys can subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos and hopefully we'll be making some other ones on the new Mac event coming out soon, all the new computers and stuff. We'll talk to everybody soon, um, and uh, I guess that's all I wanted to say today, so peace.